yo what is up guys so a little different video guys very different video you know here because um actually guys so today um you know who so sarah actually decided to join me on a hike so she went ahead a little bit while i sit record and basically you know maybe we'll see her maybe not but she went a little ahead so we're gonna try to catch up here so <clears throat> I have a few things to talk about and so basically that is what I'm up to guys so uh, as you guys know um, uh, we have actually I have probably seven bids active um, on these i7 7700 PCs and on eBay and they're actually Dell Dell uh, Optiplexes, I believe that's what it is. Optiplexes, okay. So, this morning, guys, quick one I actually attempted to mine Monero and on my i9 13900K FPC. So, because Monero is a CPU heavy coin, you can actually mine it with the CPUs. Now, one sec, guys, gotta uh, spit here a bit. <clears throat> okay, so basically, um, it's very CPU. My CPU is 100% overheating. I mean, to my Monero, you have to use like a Threadripper 3990X or something like that. But it wasn't worth it, so I was calculating and estimating, guys. So it was about $30 a month, which is pretty terrible right in fact if you're mining narrower coins you're hoping that they go up more but it's pretty pathetic guys in fact um you know with the energy cost it was actually negative so i obviously turned the miner off and we're not doing that so that was just a backup option if i have too many uh processes processing power and ram but I found a better solution, so obviously, you guys know I've been exploring microservices, so we are, you know, basically um, doing profitable microservices, so, and I'm doing it a little different, so, um, basically, Again, there's so much value in these 7700Ks uh, PCs here on eBay. So, I got like a 12 terabyte, 12 terabyte hard drive I'm attaching to one of them to test out where my that main PC will shit at, at guys. So, you know, the main PC is just a 6th generation i7. And it's probably gonna shit out. Uh, there's no way it can hold a uh, index of. I'm gonna try, but there, I don't think there's a way it can hold an index of 12 terabyte of files, right? Um, the software I used to search through is based in Java, and it actually takes quite a long time, well, a lot of RAM and a lot of CPU constantly to keep the index up to date because obviously it has to keep updating as you're feeding in the files to the hard drive because it's going to keep filling up the hard drive to these future softwares i'm making and uh hopefully that's basically a lot of value to kind of triple my revenue i think it will easily triple my revenue definitely probably quadruple my traffic on the platform because what I'm doing is I'm actually, so I have 150,000 customers now. And what I'm doing is actually, instead of them kind of paying to check, right? Cause they have to actually pay to check for plagiarism. So what I'm actually doing is going to do an unlimited free checking for all 150,000 and only issue a paywall if they exceed like a limit like a thousand checks a day or something a limit so 
I want because I want to give them all all this free sort of processing power that I can do with my internal databases and everything localized. So of course, if I did such a thing on Hetzner um, or any other pay, paid data center like cloud, it would cost probably I would say five to seven thousand dollars a month. If I used AWS, Google Cloud, even Hetzner wouldn't be cheap. So this is why I'm building this farm. And I already got like lots of RAM. I need a lot of RAM. So I'm building out this farm um, and using it um, for, all, for all of this traffic. So the good thing is it's not inbound, it's actually outbound traffic. And it's not like things are actually hitting my network at home. Um, it's basically, it's kind of complicated, but um, it's, old, it's basically set up in a way that is so beneficial for a sort of home server structure. So that's what I'm up to, right? And I'm hoping to see, you know, a lot of processing happening soon as I open up the processing power to everyone. And to, I'm talking about, you know, a global API. So, you know, <clears throat> probably millions of people um, who are going to be able to use it for free, unlimited sort of checking so that's really what i will say and um if i have extra i do will definitely um do other microservices but my main one here is going to be probably the most profitable one i can think of uh and i'm pretty creative so definitely the most uh profitable one i can think of so, and, um, that's, that's kind of what I'll say, um, about these things. And, you know, as I get deeper into microservices and even expand into different profitable ones, I'm going to probably create some kind of like actual material where anyone can replicate, um, replicate this whole thing on, in your home, right? or anywhere you do need a little, you do need like fast internet though like at least a hundred up a hundred down and probably you need probably a fiber line and something like that so but you can use all these cheap cpus cheap computers off ebay that have seventh gen processors that are still fucking amazing like i think these cheap okay like a set a 7700k new is about 120 dollars but you could get a whole pc with the 7700k used for almost less than that like a hundred so it's crazy the whole pc is actually cheaper than buying the processor alone so it's a loophole i found in the market right it's a loophole and so currently i'm winning a lot of these bids because no one want, no one understands what these can be used for, right? And mining is the most unprofitable trash sort of microservice you could do. Like crypto mining is a joke, right? So I'm the only one that's come up with ways to actually use all this CPU power and use all this RAM um, that's just used and used parts off eBay and recycled stuff to make insane amounts of money so really i found this loophole weakness in the market and i'm buying up a lot of pcs i have seven eight bids going on these dell machines i saw all i7 machines and so we're gonna see and i think you guys will really witness um lots of how this will make me lots of money and i'm gonna document the whole process out so I think it will really change when I go into microservices that anyone can do. 
because no one can really replicate the microservices I have, but the ones I will move on to that will make money as well, those I'll probably create some kind of material that anyone else can replicate because I asked ChatGPT everything, I threw it a bunch of questions and I told it prompts like give me unique ideas, creative that no one's thought of because ChatGPT kept saying the same different ideas that every normie in the world is doing already. Um, so it couldn't come up with, you know, that's AI's huge faultiness is even these new models. And I don't think this is ever going to be fixed because it's operating on thinking, not not human creativity. It's a difference. So AI will never have human creativity. And so it couldn't give me any ideas here. And I already thought of so many off the bat without without it. And it just couldn't give me anything good that no one else was doing. So that's a big difference, right? And so um, I think that that's really the update here, right? I've moved on from spiritual shit because, um, you know, you can't, if it's your spiritual knowledge, you can't apply it. It's useless, right? And so we're applying this more so in, in money, right? In making money. So obviously I feel like the most spiritual thing you can do is make enough money to really free yourself permanently from responsibilities, right? That's really the most spiritual thing anyone can do for themselves. So that's why I'm on this journey now. And you guys are probably like, you know, he ditched the spiritual stuff and he's just greedy and looking for money and stuff like this. But, you know, actually, I'm trying to help you guys eventually. And I can't do such now, but I'm trying to help you guys eventually replicate uh, how to. And I might even have a GitHub up with these microservices already programmed by me that you can just run. And you know you'll get be making money. So <clears throat> eventually, when I hit those microservices, obviously I'll let you guys know, right? So because you can make money from home, there's so much used PC parts, guys, a lot. Like we, like they've gone too far, right? Technology has gone too far now that it's just things from five years ago are just as good if you know how to utilize it properly with software so you know that's what i'll say about that is people have upgraded to these crazy gaming pcs then they sell their other ones that were so good still you know my uh pc from like 10 years ago with the 2700k guys if you know the i7 2700k was premier that was shit was premier i was hosting like crazy minecraft servers in fact, I, I had like a 50 player at home server I was hosting on that thing. And no, it was not even that one. It was like a core two duo or some shit. And I was making like three grand off my hosting Minecraft servers from home. Like it's a, it's a method guys, it's a method. And that's actually what I'm going to do guys with extra processing power and RAM. Cause Minecraft servers are heavy, heavy CPU and RAM. And um, when you got budget, um, good performing, you know, RAM and CPU, and it's all budget and cheap eBay stuff, um, you have a lot of value. So I'm going to be advertising, obviously, Minecraft hosting, too, and on my fiber line and, you know, probably something cheap, like, because I have so much of this these used parts coming in that I can sell these for, like, 20 a month, 10 a month, 20 a month, and set up ads to you know, compete with something to the likes of Pebble Host, guys. Look into Pebble Host, right? Or there's a lot of Minecraft server hosting, and I was in this industry. I worked for G4 Servers, um, which was a Minecraft and game server hosting platform that went under, but I worked with them for a good amount of time. So I know exactly the game server hosting industry, and I've been in it. So that's something I'll probably hit up with the extra processing power and yeah I'll put you guys onto these if any of you guys are serious you got you know even just a couple hundred to spend you know you know one PC server can um, still make money and not through mining some shit coins like Monero I like Monero but it's just crypto mining is just no one's making money on crypto mining like just being honest 
unless you have free energy like free electricity it's a, pretty much a scam because it uses so much cpu power for nothing like that could be used for so many different computations like ai could use that cpu power training models so that's what i'll say guys is that what i'll say right but that's the update guys peace